going ahead with another suggestion of using generative AI, this time uh, when students have to talk about something in the lesson that they haven't got enough knowledge that they need to find out more possibilities. This is connected uh, with expanding the vocabulary, but this is also connected with critical thinking because we need to teach them, look, you don't have to accept everything suggested by the generative AI. It's really okay, get the ideas, double check, in trustworthy sources and see what is it that you agree with what is it that you are not so sure or that maybe you disagree you cannot actually visualize like read what's written but here i've got uh, students sharing uh, what they have selected from the search how does that go Let's look at this now. Hi, what do you think will happen in the future of education in terms of English language learning? Well, here uh, it's ChatGPT, and uh, the other student is just holding the phone that has the prompt they need to ask. They are working as a pair, they are younger, so they're a bit shy and they had to rehearse before actually asking the question. So uh, you can see that at all the levels of what we are developing here in terms of collaboration, pronunciation, intonation, trying again, once they ask the question, and play to listen. The future of English language learning and education is likely to see significant advancements and changes due to several key trends and technologies. Technology integration, the use of AI powered tools, virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR. I'm stopping here for a while to make a few comments. Uh, it's important to let them know, listen, pay attention, if it's a pair or if it's a tree or somebody else, maybe they can pause and take notes of words they are not so sure or a different way to express what they think or the, the topics being mentioned so that they can react later on. ...will become more prevalent, providing immersive and interactive language learning experiences. These technologies can simulate real-life environments for practical language use and improve engagement and retention. Two, personalized learning, adaptive learning platform. When they actually have to exchange idea on a theme, after this step of preparation, which involves using a prompt that the teacher has prepared beforehand, so this is going to be a faster step, then getting to select what is it that I agree with? What is it that I'm not so sure, maybe I had strong feelings about. So when you change pairs and they have to exchange ideas, they have what to say. Uh, this is one step. Everything that I'm presenting here, just to make it very clear, should be integrated to the course book, to the lesson plan, as one part. As if, uh, remember when we used to, or, or maybe we still do sometimes, uh, have like flashcards or a moment to check information on a certain page or watch a short video. So it was just something else, a source of information, a source of interaction. I'd like to invite you now uh, to give it a try. Uh, with the same question, with the same prompt instructions for the artificial intelligence. So here uh, there's a question and if you want to, you can scan and this is going to 
lead you to a note. This time is not a sight. This is going to open uh, like a block of note with the prompt here. The same prompt you can see. Hi, what do you think it's the same prompt? Uh, if it's possible for you to open this, uh, I'd like you to select, you know, everything, select all. And then uh, once you select it, then you click copy. So it's on your clipboard. If, if you, you get, get to, to log, log in, in the site, you are going, going to, to have, have the important features, features to use. use. Rather, rather than, than if, if you, you are, are just, just using this anonymously. There are less, less possibilities in terms of, of features. features. Well, uh, in all, whatever generative AI uh, site or tool that you decide to use with your learners, it's important to understand that maybe we need to find ways around the difficulties and uh, it depends on the device you've got. But one thing I'd like to reinforce with all of you teachers is that students' agency is key. It is a partnership. It's not going to be like a perfect ride, neither it is supposed to. When students are agents, they learn how to learn. They learn how to find ways around the difficulties. Yeah, and I'd like to highlight those two words to foster and agency. Well, uh, UNESCO has a guidance uh, on the use of generative AI, and I'll be sharing this with you in the chat. Uh, you can download, it is free. It's very solid evidence that I strongly recommend you use. I presented uh, this usage when students are agents in using generative AI in the process of uh, learning, speaking, saying again, and interacting. So I presented along with Evelina Golovsky uh, in Digital Learning Week at UNESCO. 2024. There is a link I'm sharing with you and you can get to understand more about the experience here. Right now, uh, it's a lot to take in and I'd like to thank you for your attention, uh, for staying with me here. You can find me online. Uh, there's LinkedIn, there is Instagram, which is Informed Teacher. But right now, uh, somebody could please uh, just type this in the chat. I'd appreciate it. But right now, it's a moment where I'd like to get to understand if you have questions or doubts. This is the moment. Yeah? 